Looking at two dwellings side by side and focusing on fire separation at the cantilever, these support plates on face value appear to respect the required FRL. The support plates are spaced as per the installation guide and are fixed to alternating sides, meaning each dwelling can independently support that party wall. The insulation component is respected by having fixings on one side only, eliminating that thermal bridge. However, the welds to the supporting beam are not all round, which will be queried. Always refer to the approved plans to ensure that these beams are designed to support the additional load and what the fixing requirements are. Now the overall cantilever in this case is approximately 2.4 metres and the overall height of the supported party wall must fall within the design parameters of the manufacturer's installation guide. These here are triple storey townhouses, so we need to confirm that the height of this party wall, measured from the support plates to the top of that second floor parapet, falls within these parameters. In this case, if that height exceeds 6 metres, it cannot be deemed to comply with that manufacturer's installation guide. Finally, we're continuing to see foam cladding installed across the face of dwelling junctions. As a result, no matter how well your party wall is installed, cases like this result in the potential for fire to simply spread across the face to the adjoining dwellings and bypassing the party wall system with ease. So overall, when it comes to maintaining fire separation, ensure all design documentation is reviewed and that each component has been installed correctly and within its design parameters to best ensure we are protecting our buildings and their occupants from the spread of fire.